Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I sincerely hope that you will all be well. As previously, I bring some outdated news about the Iraqi dinar. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. If you find it useful, then like and subscribe to my channel. I pray that God would grant each of you health, money, and a long life. The Ministry of Finance was also involved in the letter, which the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq presented to the IMF indicating the government's intention to begin a composition process. Although the letter's exact contents were not made public, it is thought that the ministry may accept composition with the IMF which could result in changes to currency exchange rates that could occur soon. The Central Bank of Iraq has declared that over 138 billion Iraqi dinar has been fined to banks and non-banking institutions in the last three months. The penalties assessed between January and March comprised 49 executive penalties, including warnings and grace periods. Fines were highest in January at 98 billion DIN, and lowest in March at 5 billion DIN. The Iraqi Stock Exchange Association of Investors questioned the rise in fines, stating that it might have an impact on investors' profits. A la the 2024 budget will be delivered next week, according to an Administrative Finance Commission member. The Finance Commission will examine the budget's specifics during its meetings with the goal of ensuring the rights of all parties concerned, as it is essential for Parliament. Schedules from the government to review them prior to voting doing so will assist guarantee that all sues are settled and the budget can go forward with the appropriate status of implementation for new updates.